हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज़ अ सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द अप्रैल ट्वेंटी एटीन पेपर टू इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक वन टू नाइन सो वी विल डू रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस पेपर बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक यू गैस टू रिक्वेस्ट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक इट सो लेट स्टार्ट नंबर टेन Uh, draw a ring around all the square numbers in the list so we are looking for the square numbers so square number is a number that can be multiplied by itself like uh, 4 you are getting 2 times 2 right so 9 is 3 times 3 so 4 is a square number 9 is a square number so this is just an example so now let's see which of these are square numbers 8 8 cannot be written 16 16 is yes because it is 4 squared uh, similarly then we have 6 squared and we have here 8 square 8 square is 64 so you guys uh, should at least learn by heart the numbers square numbers and cube numbers at least from 1 to 10 so they are very useful right so now number 11 round the answer to each of these calculation to the nearest whole number so we are going to round these numbers as a whole number so first we need to do the calculation for this as this is paper 2 we can use calculator for this so it is here we have let me first write it down 24.6 times 8 it's 196.8 196.8 right then 348 348 and 348 divided by 7.5 okay so this is 46.4 46.4 right uh, next we have 5091 5091 Point five divided by seventeen, right? So this is two ninety nine point five. Two ninety nine point five. Ah, next we have four hundred and seventy one point nine times nine point one. So it is four. It is four. Four two nine four. Point. Let me write down here four two nine four point two nine. Right. So now we have to uh, round them to the nearest whole number. So for whole number we don't need the decimal part. So we will look here. So this part is more than five. Eight is more than five. So we are going to add one here. So it will become hundred and ninety seven. Right. so here also decimal part is less than 5 so this will remain as it is it is 46 now 299.5 decimal part is more than 5 uh, or more so we are going to add one here so this is 300 and this one again less than 5 so it will remain as it is 4294 so that's easy so you can just first find out the values write the values then you round them to whole number okay Now number twenty two. We have a beautiful picture here. Uh, Iko feeds penguins at the zoo. Okay, so we have penguins here. Uh, for every five fish, a mother penguin is fed. A baby penguin is fed two dishes, uh, two fish. Uh, Iko feeds the mother penguin twenty fish. How many fish does Iko feed the baby? So I think ratio will work here. Uh, as we are looking for the um, feed for mother and uh, penguin and baby penguin right uh, so for mother penguin he gives 5 and baby is 2 so iko feeds mother penguin 20 if he uh, feeds 20 to mother penguin how many will he feed to the baby penguin you can see like from here uh 5 times 4 5 times 4 give you 20 so similarly we will do here times 4 2 times 4 so answer will be 8 so final answer will be 8 fish right
नंबर थर्टीन सेवेंटी फोर बॉयज स्लीप इन अ टेंट एट कैंप ईच टेंट होल्ड्स नाइन बॉयज हाउ मेनी टेंट्स आर नीडेड सो इट्स जस्ट डिविजन नथिंग एल्स सेवेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन नाइन टाइम्स एट इज सेवेंटी टू सो ओके सो इट कैन अकोमोडेट सेवेंटी आई मीन सेवेंटी टू बॉयज कैन बी अकोमोडेटेड इन एट टेंट्स बट देर आर टू रिमेनिंग बट वी दे हैव टू पुट दैम समवेयर so plus 1 so it will become 8 plus 1 9 tenths right simple number 14 so number 14 is a piece of string is 1650 cm long it's cut into two unequal pieces uh, one piece is 150 cm longer than the other one how long the small smaller piece is so what is the question exactly so we have a piece of string which is uh, this 160 or 1650 cm long it's cut into two unequal so we have unequal parts let's say this one one piece is larger than uh, the other one by 150 let's say this piece is x right this is x and this will be x plus 150 so whatever is this length the other one is 150 more than that okay so now if you see here see uh, this one is uh, x let's say this is x this is also x right so but this part is uh, extra here for that one so there are two ways but i will show you just one for this one uh, i don't want you guys to get confused so x plus 150 plus x right all these lengths x plus 150 plus x this is 1650 so x plus x is 2x right so plus 150 equals to 1650 so minus 150 minus 150 on both sides so this and this is cancelled so here it is left only 2x and this side is 00 One thousand and five hundred. So divide by two, divide by two. So when you divide this by two, it is seven hundred and fifty. So uh, how long is the smaller piece? So smaller piece is x. X is smaller piece, and value of x is seven hundred and fifty. So final answer is seven hundred and fifty. Right. Number fifteen. Change thirty three point four meters to centimeters. So thirty three point four. One meter is equal to hundred centimeters, so we're just going to multiply by hundred, um, so it will become centimeter. So three three four, then two zeros here, one decimal place is gone, so it's three thousand three hundred and forty centimeters, right? Now change thirty three point four centimeter to meters. So now we are going to divide it by hundred. So you can directly use calculator thirty three point four. Divided by hundred zero point three three four, right? Zero point three three four. Question number sixteen. <clears throat> The diagram shows a fair spinner with ten equal sized sections. Okay, so we have this spinner. There are ten numbered. It's numbered on from one to ten. right uh, anesthesia spins the spinner tick the word that describe the probability of each event anesthesia spins a number smaller than 8 so smaller than 8 smaller than 8 numbers we have uh, 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 so out of 10 we have 7 numbers less than 8 so this uh, per, uh, probability cannot be impossible unlikely even chances are not there and it's likely it's more likely so we are going to tick this one right next anesthesia spins the number that is multiple of 12 multiple of 12 uh, multiple of 12 are starting from uh, that means 12 times 1 is 12 then 12 times 2 is 24 so 12 24 36 so you can see we don't have these numbers there we have numbers until uh, up to 10 only so that means this is not possible so it's impossible next is b part 
give an example of an event we need to give example that connects with the spinner that has an even chances of happening so there may be more than one answers uh, because we have to give an example uh, for the events to happen evenly so if you see from 1 to 10 if i take from 1 to 10 number uh, we can easily divide them into odd and even odd number is 1 3 5 7 and 9 even numbers are 2 4 6 8 and 10 so they are 5 this is 5 so they, it is it have even chances of that so we can write down that here uh, so we can write down getting an even number or you can write down getting an odd number or there may be other chances like numbers uh, less than 5 uh, less than or equal to 5 even chances and greater than or equals to uh, 6 even chances so there may be more than one answer right so that's it for this so let's move to next question number 17 match the fractions with the equivalent percentages one has been done for you uh, so we need to convert them into percentage or from percentage to fraction it's up to you uh, so i will prefer to um, change this to percentage i hope you know how to change to percentage so when you multiply by 100 and then this will become percentage so multiply by 100 here multiply by 100 multiply by 100 here right so this 100 and 100 get cancelled so you are left with 68 so this is 68 right and this one here it is one zero and zero is cancelled so 2 times 10 it is 20 okay so now we have 3 over 4 3 quarter is also like here 75 75 is also 3 quarter or you can use calculator if you are getting confused so 3 times 100 uh, divided by 4 divided by 4 gives you 75 so we are going to match this right number 18 and uh, these calculations shows the factor of 10 factor of 10 is 1 times 10 2 times 5 uh, write the calculation to show the factors of 42 so we can do uh, use the same method we can just start with the 1 so 1 times 42 is 42 then 2 times so you can divide 42 by 2 42 divided by sorry 42 divided by 2 is 21 so that means 1 times 22 is 42 then we can try with 3 uh, sorry 42 divided by 3 it's 14 so 3 times 14 is 42 then we can try by 4 42 divided by 4 give it gives you decimal so no uh, 5 it's not divisible by 5 and 6 42 divided by 6 it's 7 so then we have uh, 6 times 7 it is 42 so so that means so these are the uh, required calculations that were asked write the calculation to show the factor of 42 right now let's move to next question number 19 complete the following gaps here yeah complete this so uh, so you see you have equal sign here okay this is equal so this calculation is equal to this calculation so whatever answer is there so like if you see this one here it is 40 times 50 so 40 times 50 it's 2000 right here we have 100 100 times what gives you 2000 so you can just divide 2000 by 100 so it is 20 so you mean it means like when you multiply 20 by 100 it will become 2000 so both sides are equal right now moving to next one uh, 6 times 3 it is 18 18,000 so equals to 200 2 times what gives you 18? 9 2 times 9 is 18 then you already have 2 zeros here right 
but you need one more so times one more zero you can add there so this will be the gap filled in right now number 20 here are two one centimeter dotty grids you can see we are given two grids here uh, part a join dots to draw a rectangle with perimeter of 12 so you know that rectangle the perimeter of rectangle is sum of all the sides right so this side is equal to this one and this and this is equal so sum of the sides so that means we are taking twice of the uh, sum of the sides uh, so if we take these two like 4 times 3 4 times 3 it is 12 right but we cannot take 4 times 3 as uh, because this will give you only two side but we have other two so we can take half of that even we can <coughs> there may be again more than two answers so if this is 4 let's say this is 4 this is 4 4 plus 4 8 and we need two more so this may be one this may be one so that can work 4 4 and 1 1 so we have to draw this one here so joining two we can take one dot here one and this side four uh, one two three four it's up to here please use ruler and use straight lines like this so now if you see the perimeter is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten no sorry we are wrong 4 plus 4, 8, 9, 10. We need 12 actually. So this will be 2. So I'm sorry for that. So we have to add one more. <coughs> one more this centimeter dot here. Like this. So you see it's always good to recheck the things. So that you can find out your mistake. Right. So now we can see 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Right? So that is the perimeter. Hmm? Okay. In part B. Join dots to draw a rectangle with an area of. Now its area is uh, 12. So you know that area is length times width. So that means we are looking for the numbers that gives you 12. Uh, answer 12 4 times 3 is 12 or 1 times 12 is 12 or 2 times 6 is 12 so there are these options so we, you can draw any of these like 4 times 3 so let's make here 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 this is 1 2 3 and 4 and then 3 this side you can use any way any of the dots right so, 1, 2, 3, 4 is here. Then just join this one. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, now this area is, this is 4 times 3 which is 12. Okay. So, that's it for this video. I hope you understood all the questions. Remaining question I will do in the third part. Uh, Please support by subscribing the channel and share it with your friends and all the best for your exams and God bless you guys. Thanks for your support. Thank you very much.